Hey everyone, my name is Dan and I'm a veterinarian and today I'm going to talk about mast cell tumors. Mast cell tumors are incredibly common in the doggy. They can be in other species too, but I'm talking about the dog today. So mast cell tumors, guys, are masses that grow usually on the skin or the fat of the sub-Q and usually as a pet parent you can see them. They are red raised masses. Sometimes they grow and shrink a little bit depending on how much uh, you're touching it. Um, and also, they're just one of those things that we see quite commonly. As a pet parent, you may notice a mast cell tumor, and you should be getting to the veterinary office as soon as possible, guys, because mast cell tumors can be a problem if left unattended. What the veterinarian will do when you walk in is they will do a full physical exam, and they will look for other lumps and bumps, too. Try to have a good idea about how long it's been there, how much it's grown, if it's getting worse, if it's ever been infected, or anything like that. Now... Once you get that all done, the veterinarian is going to do a couple quick things. Now, the cool thing about mast cell tumors is they're a round cell. This means they are really easy to sample. A veterinarian is going to poke the mast cell tumor and they will do a fine needle aspirate. This means they're going to get a sample of it and they're going to put it in the microscope. And here's the deal, guys. Like As a veterinarian, I can definitely send it into a reference lab by doing this, but a lot of veterinarians, including myself, can diagnose a mast cell tumor just in the hospital because it's really, really obvious. Once you get diagnosed, what's the next step? Of course, you can definitely medically manage it with antihistamines and possibly a steroid to help shrink it, reduce the severity of it, and calm it down a bit. The thing you want to remember is surgery is the best option and the best tool to fix this problem. In the textbook, it talks about having really big borders. So when a veterinarian removes this, either under IV sedation or gel anesthesia, depending on how big it is, the veterinarian will take as much out as they can around it and deep to it. And the really important thing is, guys, you need to send these in to a board-certified pathologist because that person is going to grade it. And grading means tell us how bad it is, what the prognosis is, how we're going to live, and also... Did your veterinarian get all of it? Do you have concerns regarding regrowth? Is there a possibility, possibility that this was curative? So all of these are great questions and need to be answered, if at all possible, financially. Remember guys, mast cell tumors are more common in certain breeds, like the boxer, for example. So if you do have a breed that is more you know, predisposed to mast cell tumors, Definitely be getting this kid checked out on a yearly basis to make sure there's no new lumps or bumps. And also, you as a pet parent know better than most people just what your dog should look like and if there's any new lumps that are forming. 